What's going on guys? It's Jukebox Comics here. This is Brandon and uh, this is my weekly haul. Uh, there's some books that I'm missing because um, we were actually shorted at the shop. So um, yeah, this is what I got. I'm missing a couple books but I'll, I'll, I'll tell you them as we go on. Um, so we're gonna start off with our independent books. So first things first, we got uh, Spawn, number 288. Right there. So we got Spawn 288, amazing Matina cover. Can't go wrong with it ever. Spawn's a good read as well. McFarlane always good. Um, especially with the uh, Spawn movie reboot that's coming out soon. Jamie Foxx is actually very excited to play. So that's cool. Uh, moving on from that, we've got Paradise Court number one from Xenoscope. Uh, I actually don't know anything about this. I really, really enjoyed the, the covers. So that's cover A, that's cover B, and that's cover C. Now I mainly just got these covers, sorry, these books, just because I did want to frame them and put them on the wall, uh, just because I enjoy them very much actually. So, Paradise Court number one. I'll, I'll probably give it a read, see how it is. And uh, that's actually it for my, um, my independence. So, we'll move those. Moving on to DC. We have got The Unexpected number three. I'm actually really, really enjoying uh, these books. Uh, the, the New Age of Heroes books, they're, they're really good. My favorite one is definitely um, Sideways and The Terrifics. Uh, they're actually really good. And then same thing, Curse of Brimstone number five. Another good book. Then we've got Batman. Number 52. That's the regular cover. And that's the variant. I like the variant because of the bats. They're like, it's, it's pretty cool, I can't complain. But Batman, let me tell you, Tom King, I just, I don't, I, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what's, it, it's horrible. The book has gone in a complete, from issue 50 and 51, it's like night and day. And 52 is actually, it's, it's better than 51. I could actually read it and enjoy it, um, but it's nothing amazing. So that's Batman. I, I, I don't know, Detective's way better. And then we've got Harley Quinn number 47. And then the Frank Cho variant as well. I actually really like this variant. The line work's amazing. Um, he's been doing a lot of the black and white variants lately, and they're, and they're really good. With the white covers, I love it. They just look really clean. Harley Quinn's always good. Can't complain about Harley Quinn at all. Alright. Mr. Miracle number 10. I really like the cover of this. It's like a negative, it's so cool. I actually don't read Mr. Miracle. I just picked up number 10 just because I like the cover. Just gonna move these out of the way here. And then we've got Legion of Doom. It's actually Justice League number five. Uh, this is the very first cover appearance of the new Legion of Doom. So if you haven't picked that up, I'd, I'd recommend just picking up one just because it is a new uh, uh, a cover, first cover appearance. Nothing super exciting though. Uh, Justice League's good. Uh, I really enjoy the um, story right now. Um, yeah, so that's, I really enjoyed Justice League. And then we have a first appearance from DC and that is in The Adventures of Super Sons, number one. There is a first appearance in it. So if you haven't picked it up already, I recommend you picking it up. Even if you only get one, it's a good speculation buy because it is a key. Any, uh, any, any comic book with a with a minor or major, major uh, first appearance is still a key issue. So I recommend picking those up. It's a twelve issue maxi series. I never saw that before. That's good. I didn't even read the Super Sons regular book, but I picked this one up just to see how it is. That's all I've got for DC. Moving on to Marvel, 
one of my favorite covers of the week, Star Wars The Last Jedi number five. I have a, I'm, my celebrity crush is Daisy Ridley, so this cover actually just, I fall in love with it. So that's number five, The Last Jedi. And then we've got Star Wars number 52 with a pretty cool cover of Darth Vader's uh, glasses here with um, like the uh, cross arrows of the Millennium Falcon, which is pretty amazing. I mean, if you're not reading Star Wars, you should be. If you anybody that's a Star Wars fan should be reading Star Wars. It's an amazing book. It's starting to get a little boring right now, but um, I have a feeling it, it's gonna boost back up shortly. And then we've got Hunt for Wolverine, Weapon Lost number four. That's the regular, and this is the variant. Uh, I'm not huge on these books right now, but I've been picking up every single one just because I am a big Wolverine fan. Uh, so we'll, we'll see where it goes. I'm excited for the Return of Wolverine comic. We'll see how that goes too. And then uh, I picked this up because I actually missed it. I don't know how. Oh, that's right. My shop got shorted it. Um, so we had to reorder it. So in Immortal Hulk number three. And then, of course, we've got Immortal Hulk number four with that really cool Alex Ross cover. Hulk holding onto the two uh, cars, smashing them together. It's amazing. Really cool cover. That's Immortal Hulk number four. And then we've got The Death of the Inhumans. If you don't, if you're not reading this, like I said, that right there, anything Donny Cates does, you should be reading. It's amazing. Uh, there is a death in this book, um, so pick it up if you haven't picked it up. Uh, I actually, the Chiquetto variant, Young Gun variant, is the one that we were shorted on, so uh, it's in the, it's on, it'll be here next week for me. And then we've got Cosmic Ghost Rider number two with a first cameo appearance. I'm gonna show you a few, um, I'm gonna show you an image here. Um, if you don't wanna know, don't just skip past it. It's gonna probably be 30, 40 seconds. Um, so yeah, just skip past it. All right, so the very first cameo, the cameo that's in this book is at the very last page, so I'm just gonna show you it here. Jugger duck, juggernaut duck. I don't know, can you see that? Let's just, I'm gonna do this this way. Up here, juggernaut duck. That is the first cameo appearance of that, of that character. Um, so pick up Cosmic Ghost Rider number two if you haven't been doing that already. It's an amazing read. And again, Donny Cates is doing it. So anything Donny Cates is doing, I recommend picking up. Also, Donny Cates' first work was uh, Dark Horse Presents number 24. The second series, actually. So it could be just something that, that you could pick up. I don't have one. Uh, the, 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 the one I have for number 24 is actually the very first appearance of Aliens, which was the first series. But anyway, moving on. Then the final book from me is Infinity Wars number one. Let me tell you, before I get into it, uh, I am getting the 1 in 10 Martin uh, variant and the Ron Lim variant as well. Uh, we were actually shorted those as well. I don't know what's going on with Diamond right now, but we are getting shorted a bunch of stuff and it, it, it actually kind of sucks. But they are called in, everything's being reordered, everything is coming in, so we're good there. This book. We know, we now know who Requiem is, and there's actually a death in this book. Well, an apparent death. I don't know if uh, this person actually dies, but... <laughs> Looks like it, so there's either an apparent death and we figure out who Requiem is. Now, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. You guys should go pick it up and read it because it is actually amazing. 
This entire Infinity War run, I am so excited for. It, oh, it's amazing. All right, guys. So now I'm going to pick my cover of the week. Now, give me two seconds and I'll pick that for you. Okay, so as always, as always, I always pick two covers, um, mainly because I can't pick one. But we're going to go with uh, Spawn 288 and Infinity Wars number one, just because Antina does an amazing job on that Spawn. It looks so good. Um, and then, of course, Requiem on the front, Captain Marvel, Black Widow, Star-Lord on the floor. It looks amazing. So... Those are my two picks of the week. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Put down in the comment section below what your cover of the week was and what you were excited for and what you picked up. I, I would love to know. So I hope you guys have a great day and take care.